if you think this is going to be a video talking about how great Final Fantasy VII the remake is and how excited I am for the game, you better leave right now. This isn't gonna be like that. I've played Final Fantasy four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. I fake I in fifteen. I've played my fair share of Final Fantasy games. This isn't gonna be a love fest. This is going to be a look, a critical look at the gameplay that I've seen at Tokyo, at the Tokyo Game Show, and at E3 about the new Final Fantasy VII Remake, even though it's still a game that a lot of people hold in high regard and have a lot of love for, and say that this is what got them into the PlayStation, that say that this is what got them into the JRPG franchise. So even though this isn't as important for me, this is important to you probably as a viewer, and I take that incredibly seriously. When you are remaking a video game, when you aren't remastering it, when you aren't re-releasing it or making a Game of the Year edition, when you are remaking a game from the, from the bottom up, you have to figure out as a developer what core aspects do you want to keep and what do you want to throw away, right? When it comes to Final Fantasy VII, nobody likes how the game looks. The original one, of course. Nobody likes it. It looks terrible. It was in between Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VIII. So you go from having a 2D game to going to go to having a 3D game, and you have that mishmash, not very good-looking 3D polygon version of what Final Fantasy started out to be. So nobody likes how Final Fantasy VII looked. But in the remake, there are things that they do with just the actual look of the game, the graphics of the game, that enhance the storytelling of that game. When Cloud is riding in on a, on the train in the middle of a night in a, a cyberpunk themed city, and he just jumps off the train and winds howling in his face, and you know that this is an important scene, you know this is an important character, you know this is what's, what's about to happen is going to change his life forever on. And even though in the Final Fantasy VII, the original one, you can see bits of that, it's not as properly articulated as it is in the newest Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, because of just the, the inability of the technology at the time, right? So you see what he's able to do here in the game, and you also, when he comes in, something kind of spoke to me when it came to the boss battle with the Scorpion. You know, there's Cloud and Barrett talking about how you know they needed to get the mission done at the end of the demo that I saw and you saw Cloud having some just based upon his facial expressions you saw him having some like some hesitancy with what he was about to do with what he was kind of signing up for and how he kind of had some remorse about maybe not only what he was about to do but maybe what he previously did do in the game and you didn't see that at all in the original game obviously because he didn't have any facial expressions. The only thing that you really had to go off of when it came to Cloud and the other characters within the game, and even some of the storytelling, was the dialogue, the text that appeared on screen. And that's perfectly fine for, in fact, the entirety of the game. But when we're talking about remaking the game, when we're talking about throwing out some, some old things, like, has it occurred to you yet that they aren't necessarily going to have those text boxes. The, entire, the entirety of the game is going to be fully voice acted. So when they go from having those text boxes, they first have to find voice actors and actresses that allow them to articulate what the characters are feeling, but also they have to put that on screen with the graphics as well, and they have to articulate that as well. And they do such a really, really good job of making the game feel like it's properly told, at least from what I've seen throughout the entirety of the game, throughout the entirety of the demos that I've seen. Square Enix created some really, really good games in the 90s. They created Chrono Trigger, they created Xenogears, obviously the entirety of the Final Fantasy series and, you know, much, much more, but with Final Fantasy VII, it's kind of like their diamond in the rough. It's the thing that really exploded that developer on the scene and also the PlayStation console like who knows what PlayStation would have been like if Final Fantasy 7 hadn't have come to the play to the to, to the PlayStation in the 1990s and one of those things that helped not only sell the console but also the game obviously 
was not only the storytelling that was in the game that was iconic for Squaresoft at the time, but also the gameplay, the turn-based RPG combat that was commonly seen in a lot of JP JRPGs at that time. Why? Why? When you throw out some of the stuff that worked in the first Final Fantasy VII, I gotta ask the simple question, why? Why'd you throw it out? You know, it's a simple question that needs answering, and you know, I can't really find a good answer. All you would have to do is just enhance the graphics, obviously have some voice acting, and then that's pretty much all you would have to do. You would get away with pretty much launching the game. There's no reason to take such a big risk and change around some of the best combat systems in the series. Th make no mistake, Final Fantasy, that sweet spot in the series of the Final Fantasy series, it was pretty much really 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. And some, somewhat 8, depending on who you are. But that was like the sweet series, that was the sweet spot of the combat in the series. And they just kind of threw that all out in favor of this new combat series. And yes, I know, uh, and I have their Twitter, and yes, I know that in Final Fantasy VII you can play it like the classic Final Fantasy VII. I have the tweet right here. The tweet for the Final Fantasy VII remake because I knew people were going to talk about this. The tweet says, in standard modes, the ATP gauge, if you don't know what ATP stands for, it's Active Time Battle, and it would have an S for Active Time Battle System, gauge fills up by repeatedly attacking your enemy, but in classic mode, this aspect of gameplay is handled automatically. The player does not need to do anything, and the character fights automatically charging up their ATB gauge. Pretty much, they would fight around filling your ATB gauge, and then you would be able... It's it's a weird system. It's not like the old game. It's the, And they say, you can play it like you it was in the old game. No, you can't. No, you can't. It should have been turn-based. It should have been turn-based. The game is going to live or die by whether or not the game's turn-based or non-turn-based action RPG system is any good. And for right now, there are some things that I see that I just, I, I, I don't really get it, right? It's different from Final Fantasy 15 where I, I just, I don't understand what they did with that combat system either. But with this combat system, I get what they were trying to do in the sense of having kind of a half and half, right? You try and have the standard mode, you try to have the classic mode. But active time combat systems, they don't really work when you try and fuse them with turn-based combat systems, right? It's kind of, they're almost a, they're, they're polar opposites. And when you bifurcate the combat system like that, it leaves it really, really clunky. And some of the gameplay that I've seen, I kind of like scratch my head and worry like, what, what, what exactly? Like it took them eight minutes in one demo that I saw to beat the crab boss, right? And as far as I know, it didn't take that long to beat it in the first game. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm missing something drastic when it comes to Final Fantasy VII, the remake, when it comes to the combat system. I guarantee you, like, some of the stuff, I don't understand it. I guarantee you, you probably don't understand some of the stuff. But when I look at it, all I kind of think to myself is, this is a wasted opportunity for just to integrate that style of combat, the turn-based combat system, into a modern rendition of the game. Overall, I feel, I don't, I don't really know what the word is, to be honest with you, because, and I know I'm supposed to give you kind of some, some final thoughts on this, but really, I don't really have that strong of a final thought. And the reason why is that they have to nail a lot of stuff in this game. You know, Kingdom Hearts 3 was just an absolute nightmare of a game. Final Fantasy 15 turned off a lot of fans of the series, and then on top of that, they didn't even finish the story DLC. So I I don't I don't know about this game. You know, I like some of the I, I like some of the stuff that they've done with telling Cloud's story, obviously in Final Fantasy 7, the remake, of course, with voice actors. They they actually have a pretty good cast of voice actors, by the way. For the English version, I don't know about the Japanese, but for the English version, I like it. But when it comes to this game currently and some of the things that I've seen, I'm, I'm like, some of the decisions I, I, I haven't liked at all. I don't know how much those decisions are going to impact the diehard fans of Final Fantasy VII 
as much as maybe just affecting, you know, random players that have never played the Final Fantasy game series and are probably going to pick up Final Fantasy VII the remake saying, oh my god, it has action RPG elements in it, in it instead of the turn-based gameplay that everyone hates. And it's like, well... We'll, we'll see. We'll see how good of a game it is. March 3rd, 2020. This has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. You know what's interesting? Sony, instead of at E3 and instead of at Gamescom and instead of at PAX West, they really showed up and showed out for the Tokyo Game Show. Isn't that kind of interesting? I'll have some thoughts about that tomorrow. Until tomorrow, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.